Hey everyone, Nuno here and welcome to this video of basic tips for SimCity 2013. But before starting it, I want to thank you guys so much for the 500 subscribers. It's really huge and amazing. So uh, let's keep on growing and let's try to reach the 1000 subscribers really, really soon. Anyways, let's start this video and um, it's been like a while, you know, uh, since I've been playing this game. It's, I'm, I'm not gonna say I've been playing for so long, but it's been like two, three weeks I've been playing the game. I've been able to grow a little bit the region of Grimoire, which was the one I created with uh, 200,000 uh, um, people um, and 11 millions on the, on the budget. Um, but uh, you know, although this is not a new game, SimCity has been released like in 2013, uh, since that I came back from my trip to the Southeast Asia, um, I had this urge to play a city building game. And, um, you know, I had SimCity 2013 on my Origin account, so, and I never played it before, and I just decided to install it and play it. Uh, for me, my opinion is that this game it's a lot easier to play than SimCity to SimCity 4. Uh, but um, if I knew what I know now, if I knew when I started to play the game, uh, the, what I know at the moment, uh, I would have made the game a lot easier, and I wouldn't have made like some screwed up cities uh, for me, like this one, Maltese Plains. This was screwed up, and it's screwed up. I cannot grow it unless I redo it from scratch basically uh, and I don't want to do that um, but if I knew uh, I, uh, it would be a lot easier so that's why I'm creating this video I know that for more many of you guys probably you already know uh, you already know those basic tips but if you don't know they're gonna be a huge help and if you know they may even be a huge help on on, on the long run so Let's start, let me claim this, um, this city, and let's start with the first tip. It's, and it's a very, very important tip that I believe uh, many, uh, most of you who play this game already know. Uh, let me pause the game, which is you have to know the wind direction. That's the first tip, so look out for the wind direction because it will determine where you're going to place your industrial area and therefore all your other areas like residential and commercial. So you click in here in all that um, data maps and you click on here, the, the, the wind map and you know that it... <laughs> this is funny because you see the wind is coming from north to south so you already know in such a situation like that, that the area where you, you have to place your industrial um, um, buildings or the industrial area is here, you know, in the south of the map, or, or let me just place it like this, okay, so it's here, in the south of this map, here, okay, so this is where you have to place it, because you don't want to have all the that air pollution going to your residential and commercial areas, so Having that in mind, you already know that you're going to place your industrial here, you're going to place your residential on the opposite side, so probably up there on north, and in the middle, you can place the commercial. Just just think like in real life, how it would be, I mean, um, your, your, your population, it wakes up, goes to work, uh, when it finishes work, goes back home, if it passes by a, a, um, a commercial area where you have shops and stuff that like that they may stop and do their daily um, daily shopping or maybe just to buy stuff to make them happy so it kind of makes sense to have the the commercial between it's kind of like you see in here so you have residential commercial and then uh, industrial so commercial is always between the, the two of them so that was tip number one uh, now, tip number two, which is very important, is be careful with your roads. Uh, <laughs> I can I can show you guys something in here um, really fast, which is um, 
you don't have you don't have like highways in here you just have like uh, avenues and uh, and streets basically and uh, one of the things I did a big mistake I did was placing uh, on the avenues um, placing like residential and commercial areas and when the city started to grow I had like a huge traffic issue that's one of the things that is happening right here in in this city in in uh, in Ma M Matis Plains you know it's it's a big issue because I didn't know that I didn't plan it accordingly or as it should be planned uh, in fact I screwed up entirely so um, I'm not gonna talk about layouts but you guys have to have um, to know at least one thing so just place avenues uh, this is one of my tips place avenues around you know around the city so it gives opportunity for your um, for your sims to um, to just drive around the the area and then place streets you know low density if in the beginning because you don't have that much money like I'm saying um, I don't have that much money so place like here um, let's just say uh, okay I'm gonna place a street in here and uh, or two streets in here okay I could, I could even do something different I could do like okay I can place like this okay so it gives like two squares of areas and then place your residential or your industrial areas it doesn't really matter so next let's just play it like this okay so now now place your your residential areas be careful don't place them in the avenues place them on the street okay so place them like this and like this for instance and let's say a commercial place them like this and like this okay just don't place them on the avenues because otherwise it's gonna be a lot of traffic and this way it's not like it's gonna remove that much traffic but it's gonna be more soft when it comes to traffic so that's tip number two be careful with the roads and try to follow these guides so uh, you can do different layouts of course but don't place anything on the avenues just place them on the streets uh, tip number three don't forget of course to place the basic stuff and the basic stuff is place uh, uh, um, power water uh, those normally are the beginning so place those uh, start with placing a, a, a wind power plant because it's cheaper it's the cheapest and in the beginning it's good enough um, you can place them uh, probably anywhere you want on the map um, don't be worried you can connect them with uh, low density dirt roads because it, it doesn't have that much movement just the people that works on there and normally they, they don't have that many people so place uh, a wind power plant uh, I would say something let me just I'm gonna place it in here anyways I'm gonna show you guys the tutorial so uh, let's say that this is a dirt dirt plant so yeah let's place uh, a wind power plant okay so this is enough to power your beginning city um, when it comes to water um, try to see you see this is a map that shows you where you have a lot of water and where you don't have water at all so have attention on where you're gonna place it so uh, and, and look at the numbers because although this is all blue there are places that you can have more um, water than others so let's say that I place it in here so it, I only get 1.6 um, you know um, gallons and kilo kilo gallons I don't know how you call it um, but in here you have 1.7 so it's better so place it in here and that's gonna help you out um, one important thing don't forget and although you're gonna say uh, many may, may say but why are you gonna place it if if you're not gonna have that much stuff in the beginning but don't forget to place sewage you know an outflow pipe is gonna help uh, although it's it's still in the beginning it doesn't spend that much and you can grow a lot your city in the beginning and and don't don't worry about that so place a sewage um, don't place it near your water towers because it's going to pollute the, the ground and therefore the water is gonna go polluted you can place it maybe around here for instance no problem and the the, the smell because of the, the the wind direction is going this way your city no one's gonna take the smell so it goes outside the city 
it's not a problem. And also, don't forget to to place a, a, a landfill from waste uh, from the waste um, disposal. So don't forget to get a gar garbage dump. Um, yeah, place it pretty much maybe around uh, <laughs> around the, the power plant. Maybe I don't know. Just don't place it too close to to the the water pump. Um, another tip, very important tip uh, that I want to give you guys, um, which it's which is, uh, which is, don't be afraid of taking bonds in the beginning. Uh, don't take the most heavy bonds. Just uh, start with the, the normal ones. Accept it if it's needed, but don't take that many. Also, don't spend that much. So I'm taking a bond in here, so I can um, still place <laughs> some stuff around here. So let me just uh, place in here also the industrial area because I didn't place an industrial area. Um, although, yeah, I'm not following, I'm sorry guys, I'm not following the, uh, in here, the, the layout for the, um, that I said that you could place industrial in here in the south and then residential and commercial. Doesn't matter much. As you guys can see, it, it's not a big problem because wind direction is from north to south, never going, it's never going to go to the residential, so that's good. Um... So don't be afraid of, of, of bonds, of taking bonds in the beginning of the game because it, it when while it grows it's gonna get more out of out of it. Um, when it comes to basic utilities like fire, health and um, police and even even education, mass transit or even parks, uh, don't worry that much in the beginning. Just start adding the 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 fire uh, like a fire uh, station when you have your first fire um, the clinic it's the same thing just place the clinic when you have when you start having uh, patients or when you start having people that are uh, sick so that's when you have to place it when it comes to police station is the same just place a police station when you start having crime when you start having reports of crime and education don't think about it in the beginning because it's not worth much in the beginning. I'm I'm telling you guys. I mean I mean I I just added my my grade school on the first city when I had like almost ten thousand or twenty thousand people. So until it grows to that moment, you're already making a lot of money. So my tip in here is just place this stuff when you get um, at least the schools. Just place schools when you have a lot of money and you can do that um, my final tip in here which is not basically it's not something very concrete is just um, you grow your city smartly I mean try to grow it smart you know don't be don't be um, don't be stupid don't spend money that you you don't have or don't spend more money than the one you have so um, just play around uh, and try to grow as best as you can um, let me just tell you guys one more thing uh, before going I'm just fast forwarding this and as you guys can see I'm, I'm, I'm losing money it's true I'm losing money but as my city is growing and is constructing the industrial the commercial and the houses um, you're gonna start seeing that the, the value is gonna come to a point that it's almost near zero or an, and you start getting profit and that's basically it you have a, a power plant hopefully the power plant is enough yeah it's enough is as you can see for a small city and um, yeah start doing that and 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 that's basically it guys um, uh, anyways if you follow these basic tips your city will grow and you will end up making a lot of profit as you guys can see I'm already making profit a hundred two hundred it's already making profit and I have uh, placed garbage dump um, sewage I have a water tower I have uh, electric electric power from wind I have industry commercial and residential small areas only 192 people but you get my point now you grow up the city and you can make a lot of stuff anyways that's it for today's video I hope it was good I hope I didn't uh, 
um, talk too much I hope it was easy for you guys to understand please don't forget to subscribe leave a comment and press that like button because it's gonna help me a lot um, hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys next week video on next week video so yeah cheers